Hello and welcome to Germantown Municipal Television's special coverage of Election 2020. My name is Kelly Anderson, a student at Houston High, and I'm excited to bring you interviews with Germantown Alderman candidates. Joining me now is a candidate for Alderman position for Brian Ulicki. Mr. Ulicki has been contributing to the community through organizations such as Habitat for Humanity and the Mid-South Food Bank for many years. He has two children that are currently in the GMSC public school system, and he's here to give us some insight into his plans as alderman for the city of Germantown. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for the opportunity. So please tell us some more about yourself. Well, uh, I'm a husband and a father, as you said. My wife Beth and I have been married for 12 years. Uh, we have seven-year-old identical twins that are in the first grade over at Dogwood Elementary. So the schools are obviously very important to us. Um, we have a long history of volunteerism. Uh, it goes back, you know, my grandparents were big into volunteering. They pass that on to my parents who pass that on to me. And uh, we're trying to instill those values into our children as well. So. Um, uh, per professionally, uh, well, I guess from an education perspective, I uh, have a finance degree from the University of Tennessee. I have a master's of business administration from the University of Memphis. And professionally for the last uh, 17 years, I have worked at FedEx where I've been in finance. I've uh, worked on a lot of different things over the years. Uh, had the opportunity to work on capital projects, facilities, equipment purchase, um, you know, even even budgeting, uh, being responsible for groups of uh, words of 500 million. Uh, a lot of things that are really applicable to what goes on in the city from a day-to-day -day basis. So it's been a good exposure for me to prepare for this. So what compelled you to run for office? So. About five years ago or so, uh, maybe four, my wife and I started really paying attention to what was going on in local politics. Um, we'd made a decision to get more involved and more engaged to learn more about the processes of government and what was going on. Um, we saw the need for somebody who had a uh, fresh perspective and could bring a strong financial background to the table, somebody who was independent, um, understood the processes and, and you know, we, we bring the perspective of a young family, having kids in the schools, but also uh, having parents that live in the community as well. So we understand the needs of seniors. So really those are the folks that help make Germantown what it is today and, and being able to service all aspects and address the concerns of all citizens of this community. So as Germantown grows and changes, what is your vision for the city moving forward? So change is something that we have to manage, and it's really been uh, a challenge to, to look at that and understand that. But I think if we work together and uh, we preserve our neighborhoods, because the neighborhoods are what are key in Germantown. That's what gives us our character. Um, and what makes people want to move to Germantown is our great schools and our public safety. So as long as we're looking at uh, managing that, keeping the integrity of our neighborhoods and uh, providing a safe community with good schools, I think we're going to do a great job of taking Germantown into the future. So due to the pandemic, the city's budget is much tighter. What needs do you see and how do we balance within the budget? So. The budget has been a real issue. Um, I've been involved with the budget from the Financial Planning Commission, uh, the Financial Advisory Commission, that is, in uh, helping to work through this pandemic. We've seen a lot of fluctuation in our sales tax revenue over the last six months, and we don't know what the impacts of COVID are going to be for, you know, at least six months or a year. So I think it's important that we maintain a conservative budget, that we manage our spending appropriately. This is really where my experience and background in finance comes into play, um, having that experience of working with budgets and helping to, to balance and prioritize decisions because that's what's going to be important right now. Um, we've had a few good months and we've been ahead of budget on sales tax revenue and hopefully we have some excess at the end of the year that can help with some of our investments in things like the Houston Middle School Project, uh, catching up on some of our paving and even some of the drainage and infrastructure needs that we need in the city. So the Germantown Municipal School District is one of the best in the state. How do you plan to strengthen communication between the BMA and the BOE and increase support for our schools? So when I decided to run for alderman, one of the first things I did was reach out to the school board. Um, I sat, had conversations with every sitting board member. Um, I have had discussions even with the candidates that are running for school board because that relationship is important in helping prioritize the, the needs of the district. Um, I think it's important that the boards meet together on a biannual basis, that twice a year we get together and, and, and discuss, not just around the budget, but that as the year goes on that we address the shift priorities and needs of GMSD and, and help foster that relationship that's going to help GMSD go to the next level and keep as much funding in the classroom as possible. So what do you plan to accomplish in four years as an alderman? 
So I think everybody who runs for alderman is probably pretty ambitious on, on that front. Um, I mentioned Houston Middle School. I think that's really one of the things that could be a very tangible uh, accomplishment over the next four years because you could go from raw dirt right now to walking down the halls of, of a new facility um, in that time. And I think that would be something that would be a, a fantastic accomplishment and great to see. Um, I also would like to see us have a plan in place for addressing our infrastructure needs. Um, a lot of these investments are, are very expensive and they require uh, a lot of money and so they're going to take long-term plans and I'd love to see us taking the first steps of putting that plan in place and even seeing us address some of the needs in a place like Miller Farms or where, uh, wherever we end up prioritizing but addressing those first steps in some of our infrastructure investment. Now kind of on an untangible level, I think the big thing is changing the conversation in the community, helping uh, citizens feel listened to, helping bring voice to the to the issues that the community faces, and uh, making sure that everybody knows that their perspectives are understood and represented on the board uh, as we move forward. So what issues most concern the citizens that you've spoken to so far? So uh, talking to a lot of citizens as we're out walking around, um, it's uh, certainly around development, it's around schools, it's around apartments. Um, I think there's a tremendous opportunity to change the conversation around that topic as, as we move forward. Um, to me, my job professionally is to help uh, help executives make decisions as a financial advisor. Uh, a lot of times I work with professionals who are very technical, uh, engineers, folks like that who, who speak in very technical jargon. And one of the things that I do is help to translate that into ways that uh, executives and others can understand and simplify the discussions uh, to really take the key points out to help um, build the conversation, to make informed decisions, and make everybody comfortable that A, the message was conveyed accurately, and that be uh, the, a confident decision was made based on that. And so I, I want to bring that to our discussion around development because I think it's important that we understand what the impacts are um, to our schools, to our infrastructure, to public safety. Um, I've kind of outlined those, those questions on, on my website, bettergermantown.com. So are there any last comments you would like to give us? I just appreciate the opportunity to be here today. Um, it's really been a tremendous experience all the way around, going uh, around the community and getting to talk to and listen to the folks in Germantown. Um, they're passionate, they're hungry to, to have their views heard, and I've really enjoyed uh, listening, and I'm looking forward to helping uh, bring voice to their issues on, on the board. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. That's all the time we have for this interview. I'd like to thank my guest, Brian Ulicki, who is running for Germantown Alderman position four. If you would like to watch more of our election coverage, please follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Germantown Municipal Television. You can watch us on Comcast Channel 17, AT&T U-verse Channel 99, and on our YouTube page. We'll be back with more interviews from Germantown Alderman candidates.